Hey everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. Now before and after I go for a run, I like to give myself 10 minutes to warm up and cool down. You can add these intervals into your workout routine on your Apple Watch by creating a custom workout. Open the workout app and choose the type of workout you wish to start. Rather than tapping start, tap on the little three dots. This will display different variations of your chosen workout routine. Scroll to the bottom of the list and choose Create Workout. You're then offered a list of goals to choose from, such as distance, time or calories burned. Again, scroll to the bottom of these and choose Custom. Now you can create your own custom workout and already included in the workout is the option to warm up and cool down. By default, these are set to skip, but tapping on each one will allow you to set a value. Since I like to stretch for 10 minutes before and after my run, I'll choose a time-based goal. If I scroll down, I can set the period of time, which defaults to 10 minutes. The alert option here is where you can enable your stats to be read out during the warm-up and cool-down periods. However, since I'm only stretching, I'm going to skip this. Having set your warm-up time, tap on the back button and your warm-up period should now be updated. Next, tap Add to add your workout. Here I'll tap on work and I'm given a few different goals based on the type of workout I've chosen. I'll choose distance and then use the digital crown to add 10 kilometers. I now have my warm up and main workout routine set. So all that's left to do is add the cool down interval, which is basically the same as adding the warm up. It's worth mentioning that if you are doing a variety of different exercises, you can keep adding them here. Once you're happy with your workout, give it a name and then scroll to the bottom of the screen to create your workout. It's very important to remember to do this, otherwise you'll lose the changes that you've made. Your new workout should appear at the top of your list and tapping it will start the warm up interval. Note the reference in the top left corner telling you that the warm up phase of your exercise has started. The W here tells you what the next interval is, W for work. If you set a time goal, the timer will start to count down. At the end of the warm up interval, you'll be notified that it's finished and your next phase will start automatically unless you've chosen an open goal. The display will now change and here you can see the next interval is now C for cool down. Since I set a distance goal, my display tells me how far I have left to run and it also shows me the total time across the three intervals and the time I've spent in the current interval. As with any normal workout, you can swipe right to stop or pause or skip to the next interval. If you swipe left, you can set your music and scrolling down will display other stats. Having reached your goal, you'll be notified that you're now in the cool down phase of your workout and as before, your display will reflect the change. Since this is my last interval, if I swipe right, I now have the option to complete my workout rather than skip ahead. You'll be notified when all the intervals are complete and you'll receive your workout stats as per normal. Switching to the activity app on your phone will show you your custom workout and tapping on it will provide more detailed stats about each different interval. So that is how to add warm ups and cool downs to your workouts. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in learning how to get more from your workouts on your Apple Watch or how to find your best personal workout times. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.